Now, after reviewing the jerseys of the group stage, uh, let's do the same uh, with, but not reviewing, but rather predicting the jerseys that we might see in the second round. And also, let's have a little bit of prediction time of how things might uh, shape out. So, I will also go into the numbers for the calculations there. Come on, ride with me and let's have a look. Second round, or round of 16, however you prefer it. I, I prefer the name second round or round two because it's a little bit shorter, not it's such a mouthful. Starts off with the France-Argentina matchup, which is uh, considering the names, the big name matchup. And that is the first one makes it <laughs> even more uh, looming there. And I can, I really would like to see the dark blue, white pants, red socks, the classic light blue, white, black pants white socks matchup, even black socks matchup between those two. For the jerseys, I'm fairly confident. I can't see a, a, a situation where they might switch it around and say black here, white here. I just think they will go for this classic matchup. For the pants and sock combination, not so sure. Um, I would put my numbers much lower here, maybe even at 60% only. I'm afraid this will be navy with red socks and this will be an all white combination. Now, as for the numbers, and again, they're only for entertainment purposes, do not bet with that. I will not be held accountable if you use these numbers for betting and lose. Yeah, just making sure. I will mostly refer now to the upper numbers here, which are the chances of progressing to the next round. Uh, so this is after an eventual penalty shootout. Whereas these numbers down here give you the probabilities after 90 minutes. So uh, France going through with almost with a bit more than 54% over Argentina, so France is favored and they will win after 90 minutes with 38.6%. Uh, they lose 31.9% and there's almost a 30% chance for a draw. Now the next matchup between Uruguay and Portugal, um, like for the Uruguay-Russia matchup, I'm slightly hoping that Portugal will play in red, it would be a nice color matchup. I just don't see it. I think everything points to Portugal being in white here. Um, but I think for sentimental reasons, I really would like to see the red. I think it would match, it could match up well with this one. Um, just when I put it here, I actually did, uh, tried, tried it out. The dark, is, the dark red is really dark, so maybe it's just not working. And here Portugal is favored, more favored over Uruguay than France is over Argentina. So this would give us, if we, since those two will make up a one quarter final, this would give us a rematch of the Euro 2016 final. Of course, we all know we would like to see Argentina against uh, uh, Portugal. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we want Messi against Ronaldo, although almost any matchup between those. Um, any four conquer combinations would, would give a very interesting matchup. Now, Spain versus Russia. I put 99% on both of them. Spain is the home team. They should wear red. Well, they have not done so in one matchup already. And maybe because it's expected to be the last game of the Russians, uh, as they are heavy underdogs. I mean, they only have you know, less than 23% chance of advancing. I think Spain is the second largest favorite in the second round. And since it's played in the Luzhniki, I can imagine somehow that Russia pulls out the red and Spain plays in their not so nice uh, white slash light blue, somewhere grayish jerseys. I think this one would be the nicer matchup and it would make more sense to me if they go like that. But I am calling it right now. If this is in red, yes, I will be dead wrong here, but I'm putting, my mo I'm putting all my figurative money probabilities here um, but I would not be super surprised so this is one where I could be caught off guard uh, just for the numbers when I say 99% as a statistician I want to keep myself this little bit of doubt I'm never 100% certain so if I say 99% you can read it as 100% but um, I just keep it out there I have been already in this workup of a surprise where I put 99% and then I don't. But here I consider, I'm really thinking this is uh, red, blue and black and then this is all white. I'm also quite certain but 
I actually, if I think about it, I should switch those numbers and I might as well do that, but I keep it for the video now. Uh, Croatia's red and white does not match up well against any of the Danish kids, especially since the back is um, white with red shoulders. So the only way I can see is Croatia playing here in the dark blue kit, which I really don't like. I don't like, I like navy, I like black, the combination doesn't do it for me, especially uh, used in a checker pattern, and I'm mostly hurting because it should be a royal blue. If it was royal blue and red, maybe even royal blue and uh, black, I would like it better, although that is too much in the, so no, no archer about that idea either. But yeah, there other, make it red and black, that would be something. Not into Milan colors. Yeah, Milan is not that popular these days. So yeah, but that's a topic for another day. So I, that's the only matchup I can really see. And if you ask, if you ask me now, and I probably will do it, I will switch those num two numbers here. I think I feel less certain about this matchup than I feel about this matchup. Croatia is favored. I really, even without the model, I think Croatia should go through. Uh, Denmark is one of the bigger disappointments that just scraped through to the next round. I think they were just, they, they were in my opinion lucky against Peru. Then we hopefully get another classic matchup and the 75% for Mexico I put here because FIFA really threw me off when Mexico four years ago played against Brazil in their orange kids with black pants, which didn't make any sense to me. Uh, now that Brazil has even a brighter yellow and Mexico has a darker green, I'm hoping for this matchup. Brazil will play in the yellow. It just remains to be seen whether Mexico will play all white or they play in uh, the classic kit. I would hope it is the classic matchup. I really would hope so. Uh, and again, putting my money on that. Um, Belgium, Japan, while I can see Japan playing all blue, it's again it's similar to the Uruguay-Portugal matchup. I think this is the better contrast that FIFA will go for all red against all white. And it gives us the only red. Uh, no, I'm wrong. This would be the other red and white matchup, but this would be almost truly because the Japan kit has really nothing blue in there. So yeah, there are two red and white matchups and there are now two yellow red matchups. Um, Sweden will play in the home jersey and given that Switzerland was allowed against Brazil to be, to be playing in the red, I would expect them to do the same thing here. But we had that before and FIFA might uh, kill me that one. I still think this is the red matchup here. Um, yeah, and going back to the numbers, I have Belgium, really, Belgium heavily favored over Japan, Brazil heavily favored over Mexico, and let's compare it quickly to Spain. Spain is actually only third favorite. Brazil is a higher favorite over Mexico, and Belgium is the biggest favorite to progress. So uh, Brazil-Belgium matchup, that's something I really would like to see. Um, and we have Switzerland favored over Sweden, um, which in a way makes sense because uh, Switzerland has been super consistent over the years and Sweden uh, was actually quite down. It's a surprise that they were doing so well that they ma uh, managed their qualification group after a horrible Euro 2016 campaign, including qualifying, um, that they are so back in contention. I would not count Sweden out, but I can understand that the numbers bear out for Switzerland. So 60% versus 40%, which is tighter than it might seem. And then lastly, the Colombia, England. And why do we have 90% here? I should also put 90% here, to be honest with you. So I will do that. I will put 90 and 90 here. Colombia, if Colombia plays like Sweden, uh, then for sure England will play all red. If Colombia, um, if Colombia plays, nah, honestly, I don't see anything but England in red here. So I have to, I will switch those numbers too. So Colombia, I expect Colombia to be in yellow with white, the combination they have been wearing, although I really would like to see the other one, but uh, it will probably yellow and white and England in all red. And England is favored over Colombia. That might look like a shaky prediction, but I think it's also justified to have it that way. So uh, England advancing, so we get here Brazil, Belgium, and down here we get uh, Switzerland against England as the prognosis for the matchup. Now, the last thing I want to show you, I have made this graph here. It might be a little bit messy, and uh, for this video, I actually want to pull it up from R directly. 
though it's very hard to read and probably you should enjoy it on my blog where you really can uh, take it as it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can do, let me go here. This is the performance graph of all the 16 teams and I understand this is a little bit of a, can I zoom in, zoom in, let's zoom in a little bit more. And one more time, zoom in, one more time. So you have here all 16 teams and uh, same colors mean same group. I'm not going to go into detail. I just want to show you here the bright blue. This is Brazil. It, you can see Brazil is actually kind of smooth. Um, going from semifinal to final is almost less steep than from going from quarterfinal to semifinal, thanks to Belgium. But then the finals, as there are only weaker opponents to be expected there, there's actually quite a sizable probability here. It's all this little drop versus for the red one here is Spain. That fits very, very well. It goes straight down almost like you would, would expect it. So uh, Spain has a similarly smooth part as Brazil, but then going to the final is the big stumbling block. And I think the other really interesting thing is, is Belgium. Uh, Belgium is the most favorite team to make it to the quarterfinals, but going to the semifinals, there's this big drop and this is Brazil. Uh, we can make this for almost any other team um, down here. This here is Japan and the other one is Mexico and of course Russia. Those are the three least favorite teams and everything else is kind of middle of the pack. Uh, I don't want to comment too much on it. I think this is a graph that you can enjoy um, probably on your own. Look, look at it. I know it's a little bit messy, but I didn't know a better way of how to do it. Uh, but it gives a good idea that we have for the quarterfinal three favorites and three not so. Then there are some that are kind of close-ish. We all know who they are, uh, namely we have Switzerland here, we have England here, in here we have um, Croatia in here, and of course we have France in here, and their opponents are down there. So this is very, very, it's very close to each other. They're very close to each other. Well, let me know your predictions for how you see the group stage pan out. And... Uh, especially regarding jersey matchups and I guess I will talk to you tomorrow after the big France-Argentina matchup. Up until then. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.